I was asked a question recently about ammo and bullets and I thought it would be nice to make a short video showing how to use ammo or limited ammo to make your game a bit more interesting because as you know if you've been following the video we've got a shooting action which works really well and you can kill robots with these bullets but some games need a bit more challenge so you need to run out of ammo now what we learned today you can use to run out of fuel run out of energy and basically anything that needs to be kind of taken away until it runs out so what we need to do is figure out how can we limit the number of bullets so let's first of all open up our monkey and just have a look at how the bullets work so if we go to the events and we look at the shooting if you don't understand how all of this code works it would be worth going back to my shooting video where we go through how to make the code for shooting bullets so let's just very quickly recap what's happening here we have the spacebar shooting and we've got attributes set up to say it whether the shooting is true we create a bullet we then work out whether the character is running left or right in order to have the bullet going this way or that way I think we turned on gravity when you shoot shoot is set to false and then there's a 0.75 second delay and in that time you're not allowed to shoot because of course you have to set shoot to true again and of course kill the last bullet that you shot as well so there's a lot going on in that code so how are we going to get ammo to run out first things first let's make an attribute and call it ammo in this case we're just going to make it a number and it's going to be called ammo like that so it's just a number and what we need to do is when the game starts we'll set the number of bullets that you can shoot in this case I'm just going to do three because that will make it a bit more interesting so what we need to do is go over to our attributes set ammo to three what that means is our monkey is only going to get three bullets when the game starts so what needs to happen is every time we shoot a bullet the number of our ammo must go down by one that's really easy to do because we already have this set shoot to fault so while we're here why don't we just get the ammo and set it to minus one every time you shoot so what we'll do is we'll just put in a set ammo to ammo minus one so of course when we start we have three and then when you shoot you've got two one and then zero so of course when the ammo goes down to zero we're not allowed to shoot anymore so how can we take care of that well we've already got the space bar and shoot equals true which means that when you press space to shoot the attribute shoot has to be true and what we have to do is throw in another and we'll go here put another and it's going to get a bit messy and stencil's not so good at arranging blocks when you've got this many but we'll go for it as well like this so if you press the space bar and the shoot attribute is true and now we have to put in a new condition so we have to say and go to our ammo and zero like that so if you have a look at what we're saying now shoot has to be true and ammo has to be more than zero if you press the space bar and expect a bullet to come out what we'll do is very quickly test this game so here we go so I'll shoot one two three and you can see that I have no more bullets left so that's my ammo gone down now the question is how do we get the bullets back now we can do a number of things so we can have a power-up we can have a time delay or we can have a reload now in a game like this if it was a Mario clone or a old-school platformer you would never run out of ammo you'd get more ammo you'd get extra strong bullets but you wouldn't run out of ammo but for the sake of this video what we can do is just make a very quick reload so what we're going to do is just make a reload code we'll add an event we'll say when updating I'm gonna rename this right away to reload ammo like this and really simply what we're going to say is this if ammo 
equals zero like this because what we want in a reload is we don't want to be able to reload and reload and reload before you've run out of bullets otherwise all you're doing is stockpiling bullets and that's kind of cheating so when ammo equals zero so what we're going to do is get the user to simply press a button to reload it's kind of like the old style shooting games so what we're going to do is this and what I've done is created a letter R control for reload press OK and then what we're going to do is simply get our ammo back to three and what we'll do is we'll say set ammo to three let's just do a recap of that if ammo equals zero which only happens when you've shot three times and then if you press R set ammo to three so the ammo won't reset itself and you can't simply press R and keep reloading and get more and more ammo because you can only reload when you've got zero bullets let's test that out quickly so let's have a look I've got one bullet there two bullets and three bullets I've got no more bullets because I've run out of ammo if I press R on the keyboard I've got my one two three and I've run out of ammo again so you can see that system works really well and as I said at the start of the video this kind of code can be used for anything so if you've got a car game and the car needs to run out of fuel or whether it's bullets and ammo or whether it's just the life of your character going down over time you can do it really simply by setting your initial value so your ammo could be a hundred or it could be three you need to set up a way of recharging that now what we could do for example here is instead of having an R you can actually go back to flow and time and say do after let's say five seconds or ten seconds you could do this and that would basically recharge your character's bullets after a certain time this could be used for fuel this can be used for just about anything the most important thing to remember is that you've got to actually reduce the amount of fuel or life or ammo in some way again it doesn't have to be on a shoot if it's fuel you can have the fuel going down every five seconds by let's say 10 or 20 so it's really your imagination as to what is happening what is running out how it's running out and how you get it back how you recharge or reload that